In today's video, I'm going to expand a little bit on the mesh concept in Madden 20. I'm going to expand a little bit about how we can learn about this going forward and what it's going to mean for Madden 21. And to do this, I'm going to use uh, a, a new defense you're seeing a lot this year, and you're seeing a lot of cover four, and you're seeing a lot of cover four palms. And we're just going to throw a couple defenses in here, just cover three, camp two. And we're going to talk a little bit about cover four and kind of what people have been doing uh, from this cover four palms base look here. And I want to specifically talk about the cluster because we're going to talk about some rules and some different things uh, with this as well. But we're going to look at mesh post and mesh. To me, those are the two, um, the two key plays from this formation. And let me go ahead and get my... Uh, let me make sure I got Travis Kelsey in the in the lineup here. Okay, so mesh post. And what I want to do is we're going to explain a couple of things first from mesh spread. So I want to go to the spread and I want to show you what you're going to find is cover four palms and what people have been doing uh, out of the nickel. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and base align this. Is there shading coverage down, shading coverage up like this? And they're basically saying, you know, they're going to use her one guy. And they're going to say, and one of the other things I've been seeing a lot is this right here, this deep half to, to help with some of the, to help with some of the, the over the top wheel routes and things like that. So, so simply calling the play mesh and all we're going to do is we're just going to take a sack. We're going to watch and see exactly how things are defended. And this is one of the things that I like to do whenever I'm labbing, whenever I'm practicing, is I'm going to run a play, I'm going to take a sack, and then I'm going to try to identify a couple things. Now, real quick, if you guys have not already, be sure to join our Discord server. Our Discord server link is in the description of this video. If you have any issues, you can send me a text message. My number's in the description of the video for the free link. But the reason I want you to join that Discord server is because once we hit 100 members, I'm going to release a free offensive and defensive guide in that Discord server for all of my Discord members only. So you'll want to be a part of it so you can get that. Okay, so snap of the ball. And let's, let's look at how, let's look at how, um, let's see here. Let's try and get a good angle. So snap of the ball, you're going to see those cloud flats, as you can see what's going to happen here. You see how they're going to get out. And I think we might have been able to sneak in that out route just because of the leverage that we were given, right? But you'll see that the cloud flats on the outside are taking away those out patterns. And now over the middle of the field, you've got, I do have that open, but you're anticipating their three rec, which is this Warner. He's going to probably use her in the deep third. And so what it's going to leave is it's going to leave these check down, these check downs. Let's see here on the light. Now, the reason that cover four palms will be a little bit tricky for the play mesh, specifically for the play mesh out of spread. And this is, as far as I'm aware, this is only in two by two. And this has been giving me some issues and it's probably given you some issues as well. When you're in a two by two set, the defense defends a little bit differently than when you're in a three by one. Uh, what I mean by that is literally it's just a little different. So uh, what I can anticipate happening with these with these uh, covered shells here and what they're going to probably try to do is you're going to see a very simple, you know, it's, it's basically and they're going to press it more than likely and they're going to shade that coverage over the top. But if you're running mesh. What you'll see here, you won't get the press, and you can check down to that, but you'll see the outside guys are taken away. So what that means is we've got to kind of identify a couple of things. There's a couple of other things I want to talk about about mesh real quickly in this video, and then we'll get into the cluster. So snap of the ball, you'll see I can't really... That corner route, you see Richard Sherman was zoned out. You see the out route. You see how they're going to play it because they pressed up. That's why they're playing those underneath routes. So what that simply means is our outsides are taken away. Now, again, you see the middle is wide open here. I can hit the running back. I can hit the crossers. Notice how Travis Kelsey keeps running, but the left side slot sits. It has to do with the matching principles of the defense. So you'll see the safety here in the middle. Travis Kelsey has open grass to run to. So that's part of one of the issues with the mesh um, to me in 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 Madden this year. Um, part of the issue with mesh, in my opinion, is that you get it's it's sometimes difficult to predict what those guys are going to do. Right. Are they going to settle up a noose or are they going to keep running? So 
now let me show you this real quick here. So now if I turn it into a three by one by just motioning Sammy Watkins over, you'll see it's going to completely change the way they're going to defend this. And you see you can throw that ball. Now I want to show you an instant replay what changes. And it's really important to understand this because, again, this is the – this is honestly – you're going to see this defense, I promise you. So now we're in three by one. At the snap, you see that the match – the interior safeties are matching, right? But if they throw them in deep halves, those safeties will not match. So the only one that's going to get matched is this left side guy. Okay? And then you see here your crossers are now experiencing this play as if it's open grass, man-to-man, -man, and you can throw either drag. You can throw either drag. Now let me show you little man line and let me show you one more thing before we jump into the um, before we jump into the cluster because I think it's just so important to understand why this happens from the spread so that you can figure out how to actually take advantage of it from the cluster so you'll see here motion him across snap of the ball he follows and you'll see you see you get match match principles it kind of kind of messes it up a little bit so if you go back into your settings here or your replay what you're going to see this time sherman follows him across and i don't really know he kind of glitches out to be honest with you but basically he's going to match the tight end okay so left side is taken away they've got it the safeties are guarding no one in this an example and you'll see that that crossers coming wide open and your drags were both wide open at different points you can throw them at different points as you can see right here okay so now what we're going to look at is obviously it defends differently from three by one obviously it defends differently from three by one so let's show you this so this is a simple setup for the defense and the reason they're doing the deep halves is because they don't want to get deep faded over the top which is a possibility when you're running cover for any of any type so in this situation you see you've got your mesh play now you've got a couple decisions you can block your running back if they're sending four um, what I would recommend is wheeling him and then with McCole Hardman, I would actually leave him on this wheel route if you're getting a lot of cover four palms. If you're not getting a lot of cover four palms, I would just take him, put him on an out route, and motion him out. And you'll see here, snap of the ball. Now we're going to attack the middle of the field, as you can see. Now what's beautiful about this specific route combinations from, from a 3 by one compressed set, let me show you how the palms defense defends it. So if you look, the mesh, the drags, they're inward breaking enough patterns that they're not going to get followed in a match. Now, if I put him on an in route, he would get followed. But because he's not on an in route, that match is not going to happen. And in fact, from compression, from compression like this, match pretty much doesn't happen. Match pretty much doesn't happen. So you see this, this guy out here, he's going to match that wide out route right but he's actually on a cloud flat zone so he's sitting in his cloud sherman doesn't match the crosser the safeties are backing away and you see here your crossers are going to settle up noose and then kelsey is going to keep running to open grass so now what this means is by three by one set we've got a whole different slew of how they're going to defend you now more than likely what and this is what people will do. They're, they're basically, and what we're trying to have accomplished here is we're trying to simply get him in a user scenario that's not going to be good for him. So what we could do with this cover four defense, essentially, is I'm going to bank money that they're going to use for that post route more times than they don't. And so with this wheel route here, let me show you how this works. So if you leave him compressed, if you leave McCole Hardman compressed and you just run a wheel route off of this, you're going to see that wheel route's not going to get open against man-to-man -man or against the cover four palms defense, right? Can't get open. But 
let me let's say they run let's say they run just stock stock cover four palms they don't do the cloud flats you'll see here snap of the ball and McCall Hardman is going to be a one-on-one -on -one over the top now what's really cool about this and this is why this can be a one play score against cover four palms the type of wheel route that he's on is going to cause a significant a significant amount of issue for the safety and what that simply means is I'm going to be able to – they're going to match him, and you're going to have a one-play score over top if, if Patrick Mahomes can hit that. So you'll see what happens. Let me show you an instant replay really briefly. And this is why mesh, you have to commit to plays, and you have to master them against everything that your defense can possibly do. So you see the snap of the ball. This is just standard cover four palms, right? You see how he – see how Richard Sherman goes completely away from him? Because that, that vertical threat from that wheel route, the safeties are going to get it. Which is going to leave that post route wide open for a pass lead up. So now, let's go to that cover four palms defense again. So this is the defense that every I'm telling you, everyone and their mom is going to run this on you. So you sit in there, cover four palms, and you see I can pass lead up that post route, and it's going to be a touchdown. Just by leaving the wheel route s s under a compression, under a compression. So the wheel route is essentially serving in this play as a pull route. Now, what they're probably going to do, what they're probably going to do, what I would do, is they're going to go to the Tampa two with the mid read on the clouds. They're going to man align right, and then they're going to shade coverage over top. To me, this is a very difficult defense to beat. So. Your back is going to be check or uh, wheeling out of the backfield. So you've got two wheel routes on the outside. And you'll see here, stamp of the ball. And you can throw that post route. You can throw that post route. But where well, you're going to have a little bit of an issue here is with good user, he's going to be able to take away the post route. So the question is the vert hooks. How do the vert hooks perform against your little drag little drags that's really the question and you'll see here he's going to settle up and you can low ball that's what makes the mesh so good their drags and their hitches at the same time now what you could do if you wanted to because of the way that this game is played this year right what you could do is you could basically do what i call route replacing so what that simply means is i don't want tyreek hill to settle up because the wheel route that mccall harman's on is going to pull the cloud away from him I want him to drag all the way across. So at the snap of the ball, you'll see here, snap, go. And you'll see that wheel route. He'll follow the wheel route, and you're able to deliver that drag. So those are some principles of the mesh that you can also add into what you're already doing. Now, one simple tweak that you could make that's going to change the entire way the defense is going to play you is you could simply motion McCall Hartman to the right side of the field or to the left side of the field. Now, these guys underneath are still making a mesh. They're still dragging across. They're still going to make a mesh. So now you've got a decision. You could take McCall Hardman and you could put him on a streak. You could put him on a slant, right? I'm probably going to put him on a streak. And then your running back, you can still keep him on that wheel route. And you'll see here now, let me go to cover four palms. But this is their defense against cover four palms. And what this is going to do is it's going to put a little bit more stress on the deep interior of the field. And you'll see with that streak serving as a runoff, they're going to basically have to make a decision with their user. Because if they don't guard him, that can be a click on user if that middle linebacker comes and bites down on the underneath. So this is another little tip that can, again, help the mesh even more from the cluster. So if they were to go to Tampa 2, let me just let's just say they go to Tampa 2 and they're going to throw their guy in a deep third. You're going to see the motion over. Right? Snap the ball, go. He's going to get that free release over the top and then you'll see right here you can throw that post route right over the middle. So this is another example of how this kind of the the stretches. Um, we're stretching a defense horizontally, vertically across the field. Now, when I talk about the mesh, one of the things that people will do, um, so cover four, 
Um, if they're in, if they're in like a Tampa two, right? What they might do, what they might do, is they may say, okay, I'm gonna man up. I'm gonna do some cross manning. So it may be something like this, right? Now, if you wanted it from two by two, again, you just motion McCole Hartman over, and I put him on a streak route. Just a simple fly route, snap of the ball, go. And you'll see that that post route will still beat the cross man over the top. That's why that post route is so effective. Now, what they're going to do is they're going to use her that post route, right? That's what they're going to do. So now you've got a couple of different options that you can do. You can take McCall Hardman and you can throw him on a simple hitch route. Smart route it, motion him out. And now you'll see this hitch route will sit against those uh, cover cover four clouds and different things like that. He'll be a little window there to throw it against basically in front of the in front of the cover four is in essence what's going to happen. And it's going to create a little bit of a stress on their user. So the mesh routes really serve as a check down read. They're not a primary read. But with the right route combinations, you'll see these mesh routes will get open all day long. For example, I could take McCall Hardman again, and I just turn this in. This is just mesh from two by two. That's all this is. Now, if I wanted to, what I could do is I could take McCall Hardman, I could put him on a flat route, and he could actually be my first read, and I could swerve catch it up if they blitz me. I could do that. Um, the reason I typically don't do that is because I like to have that vertical stretch from him first. I don't think the flats are that great this year. Um, that's just my personal opinion. But next year's game, you'll be able to throw that flat route over and over again. So, again, if they go to something like this, right, and they're doing their, their too high, very simple like this, then you're having Hardman is going to be on just a quick flat route. You'll see at the snap of the ball, you can swerve him, and you see that's a quick five yards. Just swerve, catch him up. These are ways that the cluster can really work for you well because compression sets, and what I like about compression sets this year is compression sets, they don't, the matching doesn't work as well from compression sets if you're getting a lot of it. In fact, a lot of defenses really don't work as well because, like, if you're in Tampa 2, what I, one of the biggest issues for mesh to me has been the fact that I get, um, pressed the mesh routes will get pressed well when you do it from this co compression set like this you're tied in and stuff they don't have any issue and you see they can run free and get open right so if you're running this wheel route to the right side of the field then what you do is place Tyreek Hill on a simple drag and it's basically a simple route replacement and you notice that as soon as I motion someone to the wide that turns this into a uh, a quote-unquote spread formation you'll see they start doing matching principles so something as simple as doing this right here is going to change ex everything about how the defense is going to play from cover four palms everything so when you're talking about your your route combinations now from mesh corner let me show you a little something from this as well so we don't really have the same thread as a wheel route but what we do have again they're going to do these cover four palms type style defenses here. And so what's going to happen is the middle of the field is going to be pretty much wide open. So I could leave McCall Hardman on his route right there. And I don't really need to motion him at all. My running back, I could take him and I could put him on a check release pattern and then basically try to do a little, little five man protection scheme here at the snap of the ball what you're going to see is they're going to have to take away this route to, to Sammy Watkins. That's the route they're going to have to take away. This route to McCole Hardman is going to threaten the deep middle. And so if they're not careful, you're going to be able to throw that fly route. Now, your underneath meshes are going to get wide open as well. And let me just show you this against any cover four palms. So this is just stock cover four palms. And you'll see that corner route was able to get open. What the fly route is going to do is it's going to take that deep safety. It's going to take that deep safety up. So if they're in if they're in just stock cover four palms, your fly route is going to take that guy out, and you can then throw that throw that outside corner route. Now again, we talked about the way the the way the game works at Madden. I would never want I would not want to run the corner route to the short side. I would want to run it to the wide side. So that's where 
when you come out in something like this, you know, then now you have more room to work on that wide side of the field. So what you could do is go to the play mesh and throw Hardman on a fly route. And you'll see here at the snap of the ball. Whoops. You'll see here. If they're in cover four palms, you should be able to pocket that route right into Sammy Watkins. Nope, he stayed. He stayed. Okay. But you see how cover four palms kind of kind of locks out those corners. Now, let me show you how a simple motion should be able to, to solve this issue. So I'm going to take it and turn it into a, a wide set or a spread set. So McCall Hartman is now going to be on the outside, and you're going to see Sherman should go with him. Ah, he didn't. Dang it. He didn't quite go with him. That's okay. If I take the... Let's see here. Cover four palms. If I take him and motion him out, put him on a streak, then you'll see here, now you've got that angle to throw that, and that's cover four palms. Now what they'll do to combat this is they will do their standard cloud flat coverage, right, with the deep halves on the outside. Whoops. I gotta check my check my mat, get back into the mesh. And what you'll see is if you motion McCall Hardman out here, just like so, snap the ball, and you'll see that that route is only open if it's the wide side of the field. If it's not the wide side of the field, that would be boxed, that would be caged. So that simple motion of McCall Hardman can change how they're gonna cover you. Is it an inside streak, is it an outside streak? One other brief example, so if they're running cover four palms, and you run the play verticals, what you'll see here, if I take Travis Kelsey, put him on just a five yard out route, you should get one play score over top with your wheel. As you can see there, um, I had it, I just ran out, of, ran out of a little bit of time. Now that's the reason why the defense puts the deep halves on the field because the deep halves turn it into basically like cover two man under, but as you can see, it's a one play score over top from the play verticals, just from any wheel route to that side of the field. You'll see it here from mesh post. Actually, if we even, if we even, even if we run mesh post here, you'll see it. Um, so I'll just run simple mesh post. And I eh, play broke down. Broken play there. But anyway, that's a little bit about the mesh and how it works um, from compression. And I think compressed compressed mesh is actually really, really important to, to master. You'll see for if I motion Travis Kelsey out, it's going to get a little snapback animation. And you can throw that route pretty consistently against man-to-man. -man. But that's, that's a little bit about it. Again, Tampa 2 would be the defense that's going to give me the most issue. And so... You'll see here, when you can get these mesh routes open against Tampa 2, it just changes everything for how you're going to beat the, uh, how you're going to beat the opponent. Now, what they're going to do is they're going to, you know, kind of give some, play a little chess here with their user. So their user is likely going to be Fred Warner. And so the mesh routes, that's part of why when you motion Travis Kelsey out, gets them a little bit wider. There's a little bit more space to be able to hit those routes. So... But that's a little bit about the mesh play specifically. We're going to talk about four verticals later on. But this is kind of part of the um, compression looks and different things that I hope can teach you a little bit about defensive coverages. And I hope it can teach you a little bit about how to better execute the air raid offense. Thanks for watching this video. And be sure to join our Discord server so that you can get that free offensive and defensive guide once we hit 100 members.